Good morning, everyone. Sorry I'm sitting this way. I got the baby over here on my lap. Super glare over here. But Frank just left to go to work. Um, The stupid rain is, like, interfering. I was going to go for a walk and bring the baby to his work so his boss and his stuff could be can meet the baby. But it's supposed to start raining at 11 o'clock. So I could, like, the baby's sleeping and everything, too. So I told Frank to ask his boss how long he's there today. Because my mom is picking us up after work to bring me to Price Chopper. So we can always stop by afterwards. That just depends on how long his boss is going to be there today. So the stupid rain ruins everything. But so the baby's almost sleeping. And then I'm going to put the baby in, in the swing. And then I'm going to get myself some breakfast. Hey guys. So. Oh, baby's still in the swing. I'm making myself a nice coffee. <clears throat> I got myself dressed. In the morning time, like our schedule, we kind of had a, have a schedule. Kind of have a schedule. Uh, kind of. Last night, now you guys, so last night I put the baby in my room around 8 o'clock. Baby woke up around 11 around 11, fed the baby, put the baby back to sleep. Um, then woke up again around three, but just fussing a little bit and fell back to sleep. And then woke up around um, six. So yeah. And then our routine has been just coming out here and feed like change feed and then i usually just sit on the couch and i wait till seven o'clock and then i go in and wake up aubrey and then normally <clears throat> the baby's sleeping so put the baby right in the swing get aubrey ready and then the baby's in the swing for good like right now well today the baby didn't go in the swing until like after frank left so that was like almost nine and it's 1028 and still in there. So, um, yes. But you guys, I have my first WIC appointment. It's always over the phone now because WIC is run through the, C the FDA, FDA, CDC or something like that. Like the food program people or whatever. So their offices are not even open for people to come in. <clears throat> still. So they do all their appointments over the phone. Over the phone. So. And I got to look at my paperwork from the doctors because they want to know, like, they want to know um, the baby's height and weight and my weight for the appointment today, too. So. And me, you guys, I'm down like 20-something pounds. So. The first day, the day after I had the baby, I went on, I brought my scale to the hospital with me. Yes, I'm a crazy person. Everywhere I go, like if I travel, I bring my scale. If I'm going away for the night, I bring my scale because I weigh myself every morning, every morning. So I brought my scale to the hospital, 10 pounds down in that one day, which obviously it was all fluid and baby and all that. But then I've been continuing to lose a little bit each time. And it's either me. So you guys, this is how it was when I had Aubrey, you guys, like, when I had Aubrey, I think I sip my coffee here. Don't get me wrong. I had help from my mom and my stepfather in the afternoon time. But like in the morning time throughout the day, it was just me and Aubrey. I took care of her all by myself. Just me and Aubrey. Nighttime for like nighttime routine, like feedings and everything. Just me. Which obvious because it's not my, it wasn't my parents' responsibility. So they weren't going to be up with Aubrey. So when I got to my six-week appointment, I weighed less than I did before I got pregnant. Because I wasn't so much focused on myself. I was more focused on her. 
So I was I was I was eating, but I wasn't just like this time around. I'm eating more just because I'm, I'm ha I have like Frank here and stuff like that to help. Um, but when Frank leaves after the two weeks and he's only here for a certain period of time, then we'll have to see how it is because obviously the baby comes before I do. So we'll just have to see how long. Like I'll get my breakfast in the morning because, like I said, baby goes in the swing. But lunch, I might not always get lunch because it just depends on what's going on with the baby. <laughs> so let me go put this away real quick, you guys. So yeah, it just depends on what's going on. But June 6th, haven't worn this sweatshirt in a long time. Um, June 6th is my um, six week appointment. June 6th. So, get some whipped cream. Oh, you guys, I've been, I'm the only one who uses this. So I can do that. <laughs> But um, <clears throat> almost done with Ghost Whispers. Well, season four, I at least because I believe there's one more season. It's just not on Hulu. So that's what I have been watching, I'm trying to finish it up. Take some meds here. So like I told you guys, my mother's going to come later. I don't know. I wonder if we can all fit in the car. I'm just think. I was just thinking, I wonder if we can all fit in the car. Um, but to go do some stuff at Price Shopper. Okay, there we go. Um, and stuff. So yes, but I am going to um, wait for my wake appointment. It's at 1045. Um, and then I'll see you guys after. Hey guys. Oh, it's three o'clock. Just went and got the mail waiting for Aubrey. And it is chilly out here, you guys. It is cold. It is cold and chilly out. Oh, but yeah, so waiting for Aubrey. And then um, wait for my mom to get out of work. And then we're going to head um, to the store. I guess Aubrey's going to stay home with my mom's husband. And then Frank and I and the baby will go to Price Chopper. Hey, guys. Sorry, I was just in here eating a couple of Cheez-Its. But um, I'm laying here in bed. Frank's taking a shower. Baby's sleeping. And I'm watching Ghost Adventures. So... We're heading to bed early tonight because we're both tired. So, yes. But, hope you guys had an awesome day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.